But hey, welcome to Lights and Buttons. This is part of the Finish My Basement series. If you're a regular subscriber, thank you for watching and welcome back. For those of you who are new, this is a channel that talks about primarily technology, but recently we've been talking a lot about basement construction because, well, I'm finished my basement. In my last video, I talked about adding the insulation behind the wall to help isolate sound. Now, the drywalls are up. Let's talk about wireless networks. Here in this house, we have both 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz wireless networks, and that's because we're running simultaneous dual band wireless access points. As a matter of fact, we've got a couple going, one on each floor except the basement, but this one, number three, will go there to extend the range of the wireless network. We have category six ethernet cables being run, and that will provide a nice backbone for the network. Remeasuring this from the basement, now that the drywalls are in, we're directly underneath the first floor wireless access point. It's doing pretty well. I'm gonna start moving backwards, going towards the middle of the basement, and you'll see there's the air duct on top, there's a bunch of floor joists, obviously, drywall, stuff like that, and then you'll start to see the signal drop. And when it drops, you'll see it hanging around maybe negative 65, negative 70 dBm, and if we continue back, towards the uh, corner of the basement, you'll see more degradation in the performance. Without further ado, let's set up this wireless access point. At this point, I'm assuming that you have a basic knowledge of networking, so I'm not going to go through the basic networking concepts. So inside the box, we have some packaging stuff. We have the wireless access point. We have the mounting bracket, screws, we have the power cable. Here's the PoE injector. So if you haven't seen a PoE injector, this is a power over ethernet injector where you have the power and data coming out from here. And then here connects to the rest of your network. And some instructions. More mounting hardware. Yep. That's it. The LAN. POE side, and then we're going to plug this in. When you plug it in, wait a few moments, it will start lighting up, it will flash, and then turn solid. My home network is set up a little bit differently than a lot of the home networks that are out there. When a data comes in through the modem and into my network, I have a firewall appliance that's separate from everything else. So a lot of your traditional home router features gets offloaded to a different appliance, and in this case, the wireless is handled separately. My network switches are your consumer grade gigabit switches that are not PoE, but as I said before, this doesn't really matter because I have PoE injectors. I also have a server running on my network that hosts the Windows 10 VM that has the Unify controller. This controller will be the central focal point where all the settings get applied and then from there it gets distributed to each of the access points. Since my controller is already up and running along with a couple of access points, I'm just adding in a third access point. So I'm not going to go over the initial configuration, but I'll show you a little bit of the provisioning of this new access point. The ethernet cable is good to go. We have it terminated with an RJ45 jack. And the next thing to do is to find our studs. There you go. The other one is way farther out. You can just use the anchors to do the mount of the wireless access point. The next step is to measure where we want to drill. To do that, we will take the mount off from the wireless access point. We will mark where we want to drill the holes and then put the anchors in. When measuring, you want the U side logo facing towards you, the grid side facing the ceiling, and then this tab would be the opposite of where the cable is running from. And when you align it, you wanna have 25 millimeters distance between the center of this hole and where your cable is coming from, or about an inch. Actually, that is like an inch. Um, and then once you're done with that, go ahead and mark your drill points. Yeah. 
And heading over to the data closet area with no handle yet. Man, by the way guys, if you are doing basement construction, watch out for dust because they get everywhere. Oh, bad idea. Power indicator is on for the PoE injector. Don't get these mixed up. We have the local area network here. And then the power over ethernet here on the left. It lit up. Oh yeah, cat pictures and memes for the wind.